Just remember, wider is better. Ooh, that's tight like a tiger. What's up, everybody? Welcome to last week's Two Minute Tuesday. This week we're talking about tires, we're talking about fat tires. We're talking the opposite of last decade. With the increase of gravel riding, everybody's kind of into it. Endurance bikes with disc brakes, they all have at least 25s, if not 28s. And some of you are probably saying, boredom. If it's already so accepted, why are you talking about it? Well, working in a shop, you tend to see a pretty broad cross-section of what's believed still. And there's a lot of people out there that still have a hard time dealing with anything bigger than a 23. They started to accept 25s, but still, talking to somebody about 28s and, oh my God, even suggesting going above a 28, they can't deal with it. And since I didn't want to turn this into another you're doing it wrong episode, let's talk about the positives. First off, they're more comfortable. The larger the tire is, the more that it soaks up. It'll soak up vibrations, it'll soak up any of the little small rocks that you end up hitting. It doesn't even have to be rocks and gravel. It can be anything that you're riding in the road. You come across a crack in the pavement, you come across steel plates, grates, whatever's in the road, it's gonna soak that up more, it's gonna undulate over top of things. Second point, I'm gonna say increased flat protection. One of the things that you get with a larger volume tire, think about if you come up on something in the road, unexpected crack, things like that, and you're running a much smaller volume tire, think about how you have to avoid it. Uh, you have to jump, bunny hop, brake suddenly, do whatever it is to, to not hit it. With a larger volume tire, plate in the road, a crack in the pavement that you normally would avoid, these would actually soak it up. Reason number three, control. So one of the benefits of running a wider tire is that you can run it at a lower pressure. Run the tire at a lower pressure and you gain control from the tire being able to glide over everything that it comes in contact with instead of being deflected. I need a, where's my prop? So instead of the bike fighting for control all the time, it basically just glides over everything. It makes it much easier to control the bike. You end up saving energy in the long run since you're not actually using your upper body muscles to steer as much as you are. Also, you're not using those same muscles to hold yourself up. So instead of your arms acting as the main shock absorber, your tires are doing that job. On the racing side, if you were to go to a larger tire, one of the cool things is the tire profile. So instead of having that light bulb effect, when you had a traditional 19 millimeter tire and you put a larger tire on it and you had this crazy rounded shape where it kind of gets, you create a really predictable, predictable cornering edge. It's a more rounded shape instead of a sharper edge that curls underneath of itself. That feels more like a tubular. It'll kind of soak up things as you go into a turn, less deflection, increased traction, and increased confidence as you go into the turn. Ultimately, one of the main reasons why most people make the jump to a wider tire is increased terrain or the ability to ride on a multitude of terrains. Terrain. Is terrain a terrain is a single? You get what I'm saying. The idea is that you can ride on most things at any given time with a single bike. So the obvious elephant in the room, and I know people are crying out there right now, what about rolling resistance boredom? I heard this one time. So there's been studies Lots of them that have come out recently that have proven that tires at multiple widths at multiple pressures in one way or another have the same rolling resistance. And I'm sure that we can get all bike rumor on this, get angry and indignant. And the truth is there's a point where we go into a larger tire, you are definitely gonna feel more rolling resistance. When you start to get into the range of, let's say 32s and above, there's a difference in how the tire is gonna feel. The other thing that happens is that the larger the volume tire you have, the lower the max pressure is. But at that point, you're not riding that size tire for less rolling resistance. You want it to be able to give you the ability to ride over things that you normally wouldn't with a much smaller tire. So with you out there with the Fifi's that get super butt hurt over the possibility of maybe getting dropped on your fast paced group ride, maybe 32s aren't good for you. Maybe you should stick with 25s. Maybe if you're feeling super adventurous, 28s. I don't know, I have friends that are out there riding in larger tires, um, riding on their cross bikes, and they're doing fine in group rides. Go figure, season to taste. As always, like, comment, subscribe. We say it all the time, but they all help. Think of it as a non-monetary donation. It's an easy way to support the channel and everything that I'm doing here. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Hopefully, on time. Better is better. Lighter is better.